Hello, I'm carving another watermelon here. When I carve a melon, I like to select the melon that's got the nice size and shape for what I'm going to do. Sometimes I look at a melon, I can already see it. Anyway, this one's going to be standing up. It's going to be like this. And I'm just going to do a quick carving here. And I'm going to show you how to do a template carving. You can draw anything you like to on a piece of paper and transfer that to the melon if you like. I'm going to show that to you today. So I'll be back. First thing I'm going to do is give myself a nice flat surface because this melon is going to be standing. So I'm just going to cut straight down using a very sharp knife. I wanted to try to make it so it's level. Uh, all the melons are uneven of course so you want to try to level it out just by looking at it. I believe if I cut off uh, right there I'll be good. Okay, one cut, there we go, stand it up, pretty good, I like it. Okay, now that my melon is standing up, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do here, and in this particular melon, I'm going to do a couple of carvings for you. One of them is going to be uh, right here, and one on the other side. So, for this one, I'm going to go with a round... Uh, I've got an 8 inch frying pan. I'm going to go with a round circle like this. So all you do to start with is take your round circle and put it on the paper. Uh, if you don't have something round and circular you can simply fold your paper into a point like this and cut it with scissors and you got round like that. So you can do it that way too. Uh, I'm going to start with just the round on here and then I'm going to go a little bit bigger as well. So for this I'm going to use a marker and just go right around it like this. Okay, this gives me a perfect 8 inch round circle like that. Okay, on the paper. And then I'm going to go approximately 1 inch bigger than this circle so I will need some scissors for that. Okay, I'm going to go approximately 1 inch bigger than my circle so I'm just going to cut this piece of paper straight across right here, like this, and then, and then to finish I will actually find the center of the circle by folding the, the piece of paper like this, okay? Alright, you can see my circle there, right? Now. I'm going to fold it once more. Now I want this to be about an inch, inch and a half bigger than the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this, take this piece of uh, parchment paper and I'm just going to cut right past the circle, about right there. And I'm going to follow the curve. This is the same way you make a disposable pastry bag. All right. <clears throat> There you go. I've actually got two circles. There's a circle and there's a second circle. Alright, this is what I want to do on the melon. However, this is a little big. I'll trim a little more off. Okay, now you have to decide where you're going to put your template on the melon and uh, apply it. I'm going to use this thumbtack here and this is going to go right here. That's the center of my project right there. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is draw a line all the way around this, then I'm going to trim it and draw another line. Okay? Maybe using a marker for this. And when I'm carving the melon, I will be removing the, uh, the marker uh, off the melon, just like this. So give me a nice circle all the way around. Okay, I got my first circle right there. I'm going to do a second circle, a little bit smaller. Put this back in the same spot.
just like this. Okay, we're done with this paper for now. And you can see I've got two circles here. Uh, one's a little bit better, but it doesn't matter. I can see them. And uh, now I'm going to use a marker and uh, a ruler. Okay, on this particular template, we're going to be adding a few lines. We're going to look for about an inch or so. And we're going to just bring this line down like this. And bring this line down over here like this. Okay. And then we're going to bring this one <clears throat> across like this. Okay, you got to do a little bit of freehand here <clears throat> to get exactly what you want sometimes, but the, the angle should be good with this, uh, using this measuring tool here. <clears throat> okay, you can see where I'm going with this. This is the drawing I made here of the, the, the peace sign. That's what we're going to put on the melon. And uh, there you go. All right, I'll be back. Okay, once you cut your template out, you just uh, put it on the melon and uh, go from there. So I'm not gonna get all crazy and uh, political on you, but I think right now the world needs a little more peace and less uh, politics and crazy war and stuff wasting money wasting time and all that so anyway this is a shout out to the world leaders here peace all right Okay, now I'm going to start on this melon with a simple uh, V-cut tool, and it's very easy. I'm just going to remove all of my marker, follow it around, and uh, that's going to be the beginning of the carving there, just like this. You got to have the V-cut tool to do this. And we're going to be using a small knife as well. You got to go slow. You don't want to rip up your carving here. You gotta kinda be careful. You can carve anything. Uh, if you got the tools and the time, you could do names, holidays, symbols, all that stuff. Alright? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, you can see uh, my peace symbol here started. And uh, I gotta tell you, to do this easily, you need the right tool. These are made in Germany. You can score them at the sponsor right there, Chef Depot. And uh, I'm gonna finish this with uh, the small knife. I'm gonna remove it and put a little red here in the background. Okay, the next tool I'm using is a little hook knife. Uh, you can get these on the site as well. It's called a tournée knife. And I want to have a little bit of red here, here, and here. So there's a lot of ways to do that. The easiest way is just to cut a little bit off like this and follow it along right here like this and then go straight in. Uh, even at an angle is okay. Just like this. And I'm just removing some of the, uh, some of the melon. Gives it more of a defined outline and it's going to make it look pretty cool. Okay, I'm just continuing to remove some of this green using this little hook knife, and uh, it's pretty easy. So just like this, I'm just taking off slices like this, and uh, getting into the red here a little bit. So uh, you can see how it's coming along, my peace sign, 
and uh, I'll be back to show you the the finish carving in just a little bit all right there you go there's the piece watermelon it's looking pretty good I'm um, happy with it very simple it's a starter piece I just wanted to show you how to do a template on a melon and uh, from this I'm hoping you take this idea and run with it so uh, I'll be back I'll show you some more and uh, have fun carving visit your sponsor chefdepot.com have a peaceful day